Just think of the great male stars that came out of Georgia Tech in a century of tennis. Brian Shelton, Russell Bobbitt, Kenny Thorne, Ned Neely, just to name a few. But the guy with the greatest singles winning percentage? A cheerful undersized man named Harry Thompson. Harry Thompson could play tennis with the Giants. Although he didn't stand as tall as many of them, he could jump higher, run faster, smarter, and had more desire than most of his championship opponents. Harry Thompson won 85% of his singles matches at Georgia Tech, and ironically enough, is thought of as a doubles player. Before that, he was a top-ranked junior in the 1950s and a national threat, too, as an 18-year-old. Harry Thompson was a super superstar back in the early days of Georgia Tech tennis. Harry had one of the great backhands in the game, could really step in. He took every ball on the rise, and uh, while Harry was a good singles player, his doubles game was... Uh, was truly his strength and how he could take the return early and step in on it and hit the ball at your feet and be on top of the net. He had quick feet, great volley, good overhead, um, and just a fabulous backhand return to serve. Thompson and Ned Neely were an incredible doubles team at Georgia Tech at a time when Tech was bursting onto the national tennis scene. Harry was one of the one of a large group of players and a lot of times players come out in groups or packs and Harry was that. They were a great group that came out of the driving club that uh, really took tennis uh, to a new level here in Atlanta. After college Thompson went to work but kept the racket nearby. He and his close friend John Skokestead were one of the great doubles teams of the 1960s and 70s on the Atlanta scene. He could hit a backhand with his eyes closed. He volleyed the ball as well as anybody, especially as a youngster, and was generally all around great competitor. Harry was super quick. They used to call him Duck. He was uh, uh, bow-legged, but just as agile as you could be. He had a terrific backhand and, and he could get in that love to come in, love to attack, and a very fine doubles player and just could get all over the net and just quick as a cat. Not forgotten is Thompson's tremendous support of the game as a contributor. He was an Alta president and an officer at USTA Southern. It used to be called Atlanta Lawn Tennis Association, Alta. He together, Charlie Cox is, gets and deserves a lion's share of, of getting the league started, but Harry was right there at the uh, inception of that, uh, did tremendous work there. He did tremendous work in bringing the Atlanta Invitational to Atlanta. That tournament, that tournament where Arthur Ashe came. And for one other man, Harry Thompson was at the top of the all-time list of Atlanta tennis benefactors. Harry, if it weren't for him, right there at the beginning, growing the league of Alta matches between clubs, helping grow the tennis at Georgia Tech, and getting the facility moved and started to where it is now. It's a mega complex over there. And also at the Capital City Country Club, which is now has one of the best full-time year-round tennis programs. And Harry Thompson was right there all the way with me. Harry Thompson, a member of the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.